So you're probably looking at the title going like, how in the world can you make a $200 computer that would play Black Myth Wukong? And to be honest, I didn't know that it was possible until I did a little bit of research. And believe it or not, I will show you a computer that can play Black Myth Wukong. Welcome back to the Total Tech Teacher YouTube channel. This is your first time stopping in. I welcome you. I hope that you will find some of the back catalog videos very accessible as there are many, many deal computers on there that with a little bit of work, a little bit of knowledge, you can build very cheaply, starting with $50 gaming computer builds. Yes, I mean $50 gaming computer builds. So as we start every video, we wanna zoom in and start looking at the system requirements here. Okay, so we do not want to worry about the minimum. That is nope. So we want to start by looking at the recommended requirements. We do not look at the minimum and let's just jump right in. So we need an i7-9700 or an Ryzen 5 5500. You may want to check out one of my other videos. Uh, 5500 right now is $87 if memory serves, but we're going to try to build a whole computer for $200. Yeah, that'll play this. 16 gigs of memory, need an RTX 2060, 5700 XT or an Intel Arc A750. Dedicated video RAM needs to be 8 or 6 if it's a 2060. You will need 130 gigs of disk space. You could do this on a 256 gig M.2, and that's what we're going to go for. All right, let's see how to do it. How do you build a $200 gaming computer? Watch this. We're going to drop it down one generation. This is an i7-8700. We are going to lose a little bit of power from our CPU, but we're going to make that up on the back end using a good GPU. So this is just one that is on eBay. Um, the seller sent a offer that it is now 110. I've just been watching this for a couple days because this actually, this is a really good computer. Unlike others, this one has a 400 watt power supply and it has a front fan. You need to add some more fans with what we're gonna do with it. But if it has a front fan blowing, then you're good for your GPU. We're gonna add a couple little case fans We'll go over how to do that, but if you bought this, it would be a very easy computer to convert to gaming because you don't have to change the power supply necessarily. You could if you wanted to, but if you zoom in here, you even see that it has a six pin power adapter for the graphics card, and that's what we're going to use to get our 1070 in just a second. But first things first, it has the settings, but what, what is the difference? What are you going to lose here if you go i7-9700 versus an i7-8700? Using benchmarks, it's 6% faster, maybe 10%. So as long as you have a good GPU, you'll still be fine. All right, so what are the GPUs we're going to look at here? First thing we're going to look at is a GTX 1070. This is an 8 gig graphics card, somewhat close to an RTX 2060, slightly slower, but at at one that will fit in this case very well and is $85. If you put the two prices together, 125, uh, 110, excuse me, and 23, that comes out to about 130 and put $85 on it, just a little bit north of $200, you can have a gaming computer that will play Black Myth Wukong really well. We will need a six pin to eight pin adapter on this. All of these will be linked in the comments below if you want to attempt to do this. Just make sure you get a good i7-8700 gaming computer. Now, this computer does have enough power to put in a GTX 1080. It will begin to push the bounds of what this can actually do. And this is not the greatest thing to do with a 400 watt power supply, but it will power a GTX 1080. Getting a G GTX 1080 that's small enough to fit in here gives you ample amount of power to play this game on recommended settings so this one here is small enough to do it and is approximately 110 you could probably make an offer of 100 and get it so again you're at that 220 ish range and you'd still have plenty of power here now before we wrap up let's compare the specs here if we compare the rtx 2060 recommended to the gtx 1070 it is seven 10% better, but if we compare the RTX 2060 to the GTX 1080, then it is 11% better. So 
still for that 225 price range you can still get a really good gaming computer that would play black myth wukong and most games out in this major list here there's not hardly anything that this wouldn't play really well so if you like these types of videos and want to save money please check back often as new games are coming out for the christmas buying season i'll be doing all kinds of video reviews to help you get the best deals for your money and as always Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.